Race three is the first chase race of the season. It's a novices chase over three miles. It's the best main novices chase with its full title. And the top one is Blockley Tutor, James Shea, Dawn Ranger, David Robertson, Marathon Man, Paul O'Neill, Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland, Wouldn't It Be Good, Leon Van Rensburg, Chili Bang Certain, Thomas Rogers, Inuit Symbol, Ben Benici, October Cat, Graham Cutable, Rooting For You, David Hooley, Selections, Craig Allen and Zoff. For Stu Gray, so just 11 this time then. For this first race of the season, over the big obstacles. And called in, and away they go. Very short run to the first, which is a huge looking ditch. And they've all got to the other side of it nicely, though, with Inuit symbol in the blue jacket. More commonly seen on the flat in real life in the lead. Chili Bang certainly in second. He's rooting for you in third. And Master of Shadows fourth. October Cat after that one, then Blockley Tutor. Zoff. Next, I wonder if Stu's named that after the famous Italian goalkeeper, Dino Zoff. Way back in the 70s. But, anyway, it's Inuit Symbol is in the lead as they get to the second. And over it they all go. Only the Marathon Man just a little bit slow out of the back, but long way to go yet. They get down to the third. And all safely over that one, although Zoff was a bit slow. Inuit Symbol is the leader. Coming to the fourth. This fence is coming thick and fast here as they will get over that one with Marathon Man a little bit, little bit detached. So they come past the stands then. With a couple of circuits to go. And Inuit Symbol is clearing the lead by a good five lengths to Master of Shadows in the black and red hoops in second. Then Wider my Track October Cat is third. Chili Bank certain on the inside is fourth. Then the purple jacketed rooting for you is next with Blockley Tutor, just obscured by that one. Wider on the track then is Dawn Ranger with the turquoise and purple hoops with the green and yellow hoops closest to us of selections. And then Zoff. And wouldn't it be good? With Marathon Man, the one who's out of shot at this stage. So they're racing towards the fifth fence then, which is a plain one. And the mistake this time was by the horse on the outside, Broccoli Tutor. Nothing too serious. As they just get obscured momentarily there by the trees. That's Inuit symbol. It's clear in front. It's over this ditch. I have got over that one. Okay. That's where they went through it, but it's appeared to be pretty soft. And I've got to the other side of it. Oh, that leader stood off that one. Really didn't jump that well at all. Took a bit of a dive at it and got away with it. I think if that would have been a stiffer fence, it would have been um, out of the race. But Inuit Symbol recovers from that mistake, takes that ditch much better. And they all got over that one nicely, a little bit slow again though. Marathon Man at the back. Looks like he might be needing more like four miles and three. But it's Inuit Symbol in the lead. Seems to recover from that mistake with October Cat second. Chili Bang Certain is third. Gap back to Blockley Tutor, who is fourth. Then Rooting for You, Master of Shadows and Dawn Ranger. Zoff tucked in behind them. Selections on the inside is going to need a split. Wouldn't it be good? He's got them all in his sight as they take over number nine. That's the midway point in the jumping. And we're past the midway point in the races as they get over number ten. There's a four there. It's Zoff's gone. So Zoff is out of the race. Again, Inuit Symbol did not jump that well, neither though two did selections, or wouldn't it be good? So, one or two of these novices have been caught out now, and Chili Bank certain has gone into the lead by about half a length. So, Chili Bank certain, that's the winning post, then a complete circuit still to go. And you can see they're pretty tightly grouped, they're only about seven or eight lengths between first and the back horse in this section of the field, selections with. Marathon Man, some way detached, and I think it's fairly safe to say not going to play any part in the finish. But it's Inuit Symbol, who's got back into the lead again by about a neck on the inside of Chili Bang Certain. Master of Shadows got ominously well on the outside in third. Then it's three in a line, Blockley Tutor rooting for you, and October Cat, and then three in a line again as they get over that next one. With Inuit Symbol sticking on in the lead, Master of Shadows. 
on the outside though. He's now looming up on the outside and he's preparing to take it up, I think, between the two of them. Chili Bank certain as they race towards the next fence. And over that one they go and the leaders didn't jump it all that brilliantly, but they got over it okay in the end. And it's Inuit symbol and master of shadows rooting for you in the purple jacket trying to come between them as they get over the next one. And that time it was Master of Shadows who jumped in the better and has now gone three quarters of a length clear. It's Master of Shadows in the lead. Inuit symbols trying to fight back. Rooting for you looks to be going well in third. Here comes Wouldn't It Be Good now cruising into the race as they get over that ditch. And it was Wouldn't It Be Good who jumped into the lead. Wouldn't It Be Good then has jumped into the lead. He's now gone quickly two lengths clear from Master of Shadows in second. Inuit symbol is back in third. Then Dawn Ranger then rooting for you. Then comes October Cat. Chili Bang certain. Uh, Blockly Tudor selections is trying to switch around the outside. They've got three furlongs and three fences to go. And it's Wouldn't It Be Good who's suddenly gone seven lengths clear of in second place rooting for you. Wouldn't It Be Good? Has it gone too soon? Gets over to third last, jumps it really well. Master of Shadows is battling on again in second. Then comes rooting for you in October. Captain Dawn Ranger trying to run over the second last. And the leader's still sick clear. And it's looking like Wouldn't It Be Good has only got to jump the final fence to give Leon Badman's worth his first winner of the season. It's Wouldn't It Be Good over the final fence he goes. Gets away from it well. He's a good Six lengths clear. Dawn Range is running in the second. Chili Bank certain has gone at the back. But it's wouldn't it be good? He's racing up towards the line. A pretty comfortable winner of this one then. And wouldn't it be good? Takes it's close for a second. Master of Shadows and Dawn Ranger selections are going to be fourth. And then rooting for you and all the way back to Marathon Man, who got round in his own time. But it's the first one on the board for Leon. And Pretty comfortable win in the end, wouldn't it be good? Leon Van Rensburg, the winner. Master of Shadows for Joshua Sutherland was second. Dawn Ranger for David Robertson was third. Selections for Craig Allen, fourth. And rooting for you for David Hooley was fifth.